Today we will explain the contact resistance test and its purpose. Contact resistance is the resistance to the flow of current when the contacts of a device are in closed position. The device can be a circuit breaker, bus bar, connectors, switches and relays etc. The purpose of contact resistance test is to measure the resistance of electrical connections like joints, terminations, connectors etc. The aim of this test is to verify that the connections are properly made and there is no loose connection. It also detects adequate tension on bolted joints and contamination on corroded contacts. When contact resistance rises because of oxidation, loosened or improperly tightened joints, temperature rises abnormally at the points of contact. This abnormal heating reduces connectivity, thereby accelerating the rise in temperature and can lead to serious trouble. It often causes a melting of the joints resulting in permanent fault. The contact resistance tests need to be carried out after a specific time to check the healthiness of the equipment like circuit breaker, bus bar joints, etc. Early identification of loose connection and corroded contacts, etc. helps us to diagnose and rectify the problem. We can carry out tightening of loose connections and other preventive maintenance on time to avoid any greater loss. In case of circuit breaker, first we make sure that the contacts of the circuit breaker are in closed position. A fixed amount of current is injected through the contacts of the circuit breaker using current leads of the testing instrument. The current value can be from 100 ampere to 600 ampere. The voltage drop across the contacts is measured using voltage leads of the test set. The resistance value is calculated using the Ohm's law. On the test set, we just press the R button to show the resistance. The measured value of the contact resistance is compared with the value given by the manufacturer. The value is also compared with the previous measured value. For different types of circuit breakers, the required value of contact resistance is given as. For vacuum based circuit breakers, the minimum required value of contact resistance is 30 micro ohm. Similarly, for air and SF6 based circuit breakers, the minimum required value is 60 micro ohm. And for oil based circuit breakers, the minimum required value of the contact resistance is 100 micro ohm. In case of a bus bar, we have multiple joint points because of several transmission line connections. Now, for example, we want to find out the contact resistance of this specific joint. We inject current into the bus bar through the current cables of the testing set. After that, we will connect external voltmeter across this specific joint and measure the voltage drop across the joint. Then we will calculate the contact resistance R using Ohm's law that is R is equal to V by I. For bus bar, the contact resistance value should be less than 5 micro ohm. Next, we explain some of the precautions that must be adopted while performing the contact resistance test. Number 1. The voltage leads must be connected inside while the current leads must be connected outside for making the data accurately. Secondly, the selected range of current must not be higher than the rated value of the equipment to prevent any damage to the equipment. Thanks for watching the video. Keep in touch for more informative videos.